so. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. No. No credit. Yeah, so, yeah, this is it. This it's is our a, big moment. Very exciting. Big fan. Yeah. You just uh, flew in from London. I did. Um, this morning, or I flew in last night. Okay. And uh, the weather is exactly the same. <laughs> you mean there as it is here, yes, or there all the time? In London, it's this way all the time. All is the that time, right? Right. Yeah. And, do you get sick of it living there? Yeah, you pretty much always want to take a nap. Uh -huh. No kidding. Yeah, it's always dark right. and dreary and rainy. When the and sun comes, do you just like run outside and try actually, to... Actually, there was a little bit of sun that went through my window at one point about a month ago. <laughs> no kidding. And I literally, one day, that was it? Yeah, one day. And yeah. I literally lay down on my floor and moved my head to where the sun was <laughs> and just kept my head right there. Do they have tanning sun. salons in London? No, but they, what I need to get is one of those mood lamps. The lamps, right. That's I was going to suggest that. Just sit that. in front of it. Yeah. Now, you're there for a play that you actually wrote. I did. I wrote yeah. a play this called This is the, the first time you've written a play. Yes, it is. Yeah. I wrote a play called The End of Long. Uh, well, I actually wrote it really quickly. I wrote it in 10 days. Oh, my wow. gosh. And then I've been rewriting it for about a year uh. and getting notes and all that stuff. But it sort of flew out of me. Now, when you're in London, do you, um, do you develop a British accent? I can't speak to anyone from England without... Changing my inflection. <laughs> oh, yes. What, you suddenly adapt to British accent? I do. Accent? I say, you're all right. Yeah, I, I Your can't voice also it. got much higher. It does. It gets higher and, uh, and even more yeah. grating. No, I kind of stick to my same uh -huh. accent. Really? You pick, well, uh, the thing I don't understand about England is tea. Like, I don't like anything hot, but... I've, it's never occurred to me that I've never, there's never been a moment in my life where I thought, man, a spot of tea would really hit the spot. I have but like British people are like, oh, tea, gorgeous. I have, I have tea every day. Do you really? Yeah. Now I have tea every day. And do they say to you, would you like a spot of tea? Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They do, do you have it with figgy you pudding? Know, you, sound, you sound like a chimney sweep from like Mary Poppins. <laughs> and also, something. why are you going like this? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. This is what they do. Yeah. <laughs> no, at intermission. Can I have some more? At intermission for the play, every day I have tea. Do you really? Yeah. And do you find it satisfying? Lloyd Owen, one of the actors who's in the play, there's two British uh, actors who play Americans. Uh. Yeah. And so they have to do American accents. Uh. But he makes me tea at intermission, <laughs> and I drink it. Does that seem regular to you now? Yeah, I, I, I like it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're also about to play Ted Kennedy. I am. That's another... Wait, now, you're going to have to learn... a. A Boston, New England accent. Yes, right? it's, it's a very difficult accent that I'm going to have to learn. I had my first meeting with my dialect coach uh, last week, and it's not just a Boston accent, it's a Ted Kennedy accent. Right. So we got about an hour into our work session, and my head was exploding. Right. And I said, uh, We have to stop. We have to stop right now. You right. can't tell me any wow. more information. We let's talk again in a week because this is way too much wow. information. But it's going to be a really challenging job, and I play him from the age of 38 to 67. Wow. And it's going to be a really fun job, and I go straight from the play to that job. That's so exciting. I don't have any days yeah. off or anything. Uh, cool. well, well, we're excited to hear about that. We have to take a commercial break. We're going to talk to you about who got to play Oscar's father on The Odd Couple when we return. So on live, a performance by the latest finalist voted off of American Idol, and Abby from Scandal, Darby Stanchfield. Real life. Uh, if I didn't have housekeepers, my house would be an absolute disaster uh, area. Were yeah. you nervous at all about doing that role? Because it's, I mean, I grew up watching, obviously, The Odd Couple on TV, too. I mean, it's such, such an iconic Well, iconic it's interesting. Role. You don't like to think about this, but it's been 45 years wow. since the original show was on. Now I feel old. <laughs> I know. I feel very old. I'm sorry to do that to you. <laughs> but, uh, so I was sort of driving in my car one day, and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, redo it because yeah, it's been so long. Know. And I was such a big fan of Walter Matthau's yeah. performance in the movie mm. that playing Oscar Madison was kind of a dream come true. Right. So I thought, why not try to play Oscar Madison in The Odd Couple? And they were actually developing it at CBS, so it all sort of came, oh, that's great. came to fruition. And Gary Marshall produced the original series and actually works on your show yeah, as Yeah, well. he was hired as an executive consultant on this show, which I thought he was going to just do in name, uh -huh. sort of, but he's at every taping, he's wow. at every run-through, he's pitching jokes, he actually played my father, uh -huh. that the script that week was like 16 pages long, uh -huh. instead of 50. Wow. That's right. We We've got to actually clip, I think, uh, oh, of you good. guys at home. Uh, oh, let's good. take a look.
Bachelor premieres Thursday at 8.30 on CBS. Make sure you check out Matthew Gary and the Odd Couple. And you have to come back and tell us when you start shooting the other movies. Okay, great. We have news. Tony Stansfield is here. Abby from Scandal. We'll be right back. Tomorrow on Live, Cameron Diaz.